Did you make this? It's so cute! Well, things are gonna get pretty hectic around here soon. But this spirit, Chirithi, is gonna make your lives much easier. Hopefully. Spirit? You could say they're like cats or dogs. And they'll be your loyal pets. Every wielder will have one of these adorable little guys at their side. They're here to help, so play nice. Okay. Oh, right. Before I forget... If a wielder is overcome by malice, or rather, if their heart is tainted by darkness, their adorable little spirit will turn dark and become a nightmare. So you're telling us that if we see a nightmare... Someone has fallen into darkness. Exactly. And if you don't stop this renegade spirit, it'll plant darkness in the hearts of others. And you'll have an army of nightmares on your hands. Beware. So, if we see one of these nightmares anywhere, we have to get rid of it on the spot. No! I won't let you do that! <laughs> no wonder you ended up as the bear. You're scary. Your point? Maybe you can growl at them. Hmm... Ugh! Don't insult me! Come on, I said. You won't know if it works unless you try. <laughs> Please tell me you're joking. So. Did you look through the book? Yes. But I'm still analyzing it. Wow, no quick skim for you, huh? I just prefer to be thorough. Master, is what it says in the last passage true? Oh yeah, that. Bummer, huh? Yes. By the way, if one day I suddenly disappear, I'm counting on you to keep the others calm, okay? Huh? Disappear? Vanish? Dim? They... I don't know how to explain it. It's just hypothetical talk. Okay. This world is full of light. <laughs> it's a world comprised of many smaller worlds, all connected, stretching as far as the eye can see. One great light protects us all throughout this vast land. All worlds share one light, one fate. I take it you're talking about Kingdom Hearts. Yep, you're right on the money. People believe that the light that is Kingdom Hearts will be here forever. But if it were to disappear, the world would be enveloped in darkness. I understand. And that is why you granted us these Keyblades. With these, we can spread the teachings of light. And we can protect Kingdom Hearts from darkness. No, they're not for protecting Kingdom Hearts. Huh? The final passage reads, On that fated land, a great war shall transpire. Darkness will prevail, and the light expire. Isn't it our duty as Keyblade wielders to prevent this war from taking place? Not, not possible. What? You really think you can change the future? Then, what do you want us to do? We have to focus on what comes after. There's no use thinking of ways to change events that we know are gonna happen. But what about all of those who are here now? And the ones who will be here when the darkness finally comes? Are we to abandon all of them? <laughs> Come on, are you telling me that you think the world can be saved by just seven people? We have to at least try. With enough Keyblade wielders, we could... Well, if you want to give it a shot... 
Yes. <laughs> Alrighty. Good luck. So, to sum it up, I'll need you to observe the others. Easy breezy. Uh, all right. Hmm. Like I said, Ira may have to take over for me. But don't be shy. Just be fair. Then do not be afraid to speak up. Even though I say observe, you'll need to be the mediator. Make sure people get along. I understand. But without you or Lushu, to form and maintain our own unions is... It's a little unnerving, to be honest. Oh, come on! Lighten up a little. Maybe I'll never disappear. Wait, do you want me to go? What? N no of course not! <laughs> I was just kidding. Oh, I see. Look, I get that change can be hard for everyone, but things need to keep moving forward. And you need to keep up. Otherwise, you'll just get left behind, all alone. Now that you know what the future holds, Envy, what does your heart say? <laughs> May your heart be your guiding key. I say it all the time. You ultimately need to do your heart feels is right. Right. You been here long? My bad. No. So, what did you want? Uh, you didn't forget, did you? You're the one who called me here. <laughs> Lighten up! I was just kidding! <laughs> I didn't forget. Give me a little credit here. I was just testing you. Uh, right. Now then, allow me to tell you about your role. You're going to be Ira's right-hand man. What? Ira's right-hand man? What do you mean? Well. Vera's gonna be the new leader after I'm gone, you see. So, just stand by. Don't disappoint. Explain to me, Master! What do you mean, Ira's going to be leader? What? Is that disappointment I hear? Did you want to be leader? No! I mean, if you had asked me to be the leader, that's a different story, but I wasn't trying... Do you really want to be leader, huh? I... well... I know you but that just isn't enough. Any chump can say, You! Here's a huge promotion! Good job! And make your head honcho. But enthusiasm alone doesn't make a great leader. Ira needs someone like you to give him a push in the right direction. Uh... I agree. Ira is definitely the most worthy among us. I'm sure he'll make a fine leader. <laughs> then it's settled. Wait, I agreed that he is worthy. But why do we need a new leader, Master? Does, does that mean you will no longer be teaching us? Well... I might disappear one day. But... Well... I might disappear... Disappear? Why? Where? Speak up sooner if you're listening. It was embarrassing for me! Anyway, I don't know if I'm gonna disappear or not. It's anyone's guess right now. But... In any case, you need to support Ira. We both know he's quite serious. He's always just thinking and thinking and thinking behind that unicorn mask of his. So everyone will be counting on you to spur him into action. Uh, right. You might not be entirely happy with your role. But just know that it's the most important one. Capiche? Hmm? Uh, shall I elaborate? Making Ira the leader is all good in theory, but sometime later you might think, eh, he 
he's terrible at this. In which case, it'll be your job to step up. Who knows? Your leadership might be just what everyone needs. And that is your true role. May your heart be your guiding key. Best of luck, I said. Master. Hmm. Oh. Um. Oh. Master? Oh, I see. If you're busy, mm. I can always come back later. Sure. Oh, no, 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 stay! Now, where. Ah, here it is. What's this? Go on, read it. This is from the Book of Prophecies. But... Yep. It's a page that's not in any of your books. And what's written here is... Your role. You must find the traitor hidden among you, and stop them before it's too late. And in order to help you find the traitor... I get it. That's why you gave us all different roles, isn't it? If anyone deviates from the job they were given, we can easily conclude that they are the traitor. It's brilliant! Way to steal my thunder, show off! Huh? It's not fair. My plan was supposed to blow your mind with its grandeur. Your jaw should have hit the floor at my sheer genius! I'm... sorry? But was my logic flawed? Oh, you were right. So, I guess now you've earned your time in the limelight. Even though there is a traitor, act normal and keep focused. Trust no one but yourself. What's written in the last page of the book is gonna happen. The entire world will be lost to darkness. But Master, isn't there anything we can do? Well, that's what brings me to your role. You might just be the only hope of keeping light from expiring. Master, what is it that you need me to do? Oh. Don't get involved in any battles. Forget the notion of unions. Find Keyblade wielders with potential and create an entirely separate organization. Then, like the seeds of a dandelion, let them fly to another world. They will keep the light alive. You really think that I'm the right person for this? Ava, you're the only person for this. I understand.
so the reliable Era, who wore the mask of the unicorn, was given his role to take over for the master and to lead the others. Similarly, the virtuous Envy, who wore the mask of the snake, was given her role to watch over the others with a fair eye. The fearless Ased, who wore the mask of the bear, was given his role to support their brand new leader, Ira. The prudent Ava, who wore the mask of the fox, was given her role to prepare exceptional Keyblade wielders for the world after. The cool-headed Gula, who wore the mask of the leopard, was given his role to uncover the mystery of the Book of Prophecies. Lu Xu, the first of the apprentices to be given their role, watched his companions from afar as they learned what it was that they were meant to do. Then, he disappeared. Not long after that, the master vanished, dimmed, and faded without a trace. This is where your story began. The story of your very own adventure. Five of the Master's apprentices armed themselves with the Book of Prophecies. They each created a union. This would fulfill his wishes. Then, they set out to rally Keyblade wielders just like you. By defeating Heartless, the monsters of darkness, they would gather light.
There's a traitor among us. Are you certain? What proof do you have? I found this sniffing around. Is that... a dark charity? Uh, is that... a nightmare? <gasps> if a wielder is overcome by malice, or rather if their heart is tainted by darkness, their adorable little spirit will turn dark and become a nightmare. So you're telling us that if we see a nightmare... Someone has fallen into darkness. Exactly. And if you don't stop this renegade spirit, it'll plant darkness in the hearts of others. And you'll have an army of nightmares on your hands. Beware. It's not me! There's an easy way to solve this. If we all summon our spirits, then we'll know. Unfortunately, there are countless wielders in our unions. It would be easy for any of us to summon a Chirithi that isn't a nightmare. I'm afraid that your suggestion wouldn't help us get to the bottom of this. Yeah, in that case, who's to say that the nightmare you saw belongs to one of us? It could belong to anyone in our unions. That's highly unlikely. Do you recall the tool the wielders were given in order to make them stronger? We generally don't concern ourselves with what they have at their disposal. However, I believe those tools were the nightmares doing. The bangles? I know when they're equipped, they have the power to collect dark energy. But I thought we all agreed that was okay. Collecting is fine. But using that power is the equivalent of using the power of darkness. It's a brilliant plan. Everyone knows that all spirits look the same, and wielders exist in spades. There's no way to tell. Oh no. Everyone's already equipped their bangles. So what now? How do we find out who's behind this? Seeing as those bangles couldn't have been acquired by just anyone, I believe it's one of us here in this room. No, Ira. I respectfully disagree. What proof do we have that the bangles are tied to the power of darkness, or if a nightmare is to blame? We shouldn't simply jump to conclusions. Ira, some leader you are. You've managed to plant seeds of doubt in all of us with that speech. What, did you expect the traitor to give themselves up with that accusation of yours? <laughs> that was foolish. I said, that's quite enough. It looks to me like the Master made the wrong choice. Wait, where do you think you're going? I think we're done here. I trust you'll keep us all updated. I hope... I hope we can all resolve this soon. <sighs> that didn't go as expected. What's wrong, Ira? This isn't like you. A lost page. Something's missing from our book of prophecies. Each of our copies were said to contain the events of the future. But this incident, well, it's nowhere to be found. And how does this whole thing with the traitor tie together? Like I said, it's nowhere to be found. <sighs> in my book. Ira, are you implying that someone is in possession of the missing page? And the person with the complete book is the traitor? There is something going on, and a page is suspiciously missing from the book. It's not so far-fetched to assume that the one who has the lost page has been turned, that they have fallen into the hands of darkness. Trust me. There seems to be no record of it in my book either. You may be onto something. I wonder, 
Could this have been the Master's plan all along? To grant the lost page to only one of us? We have no way of knowing. The Master is gone. I understand what you are saying. I promise to keep a close eye on the others. I will keep you informed, as always. Thanks. Of course. After all, that is what the Master asked of me. And Ira, may your heart be your guiding key. <laughs>